Hi guys, welcome on my channel. Today I will show you a very simple and easy design uh, for a salon, uh, really nice for a gel polish uh, on top of the natural news or enhancements. Um, it is a ombre and also a sugar effect. And you can see I have done couple in here and I can show you exactly a step by step how they have been done. First of all, we have to prep the natural new and then we will apply one color on the news. We have to cure it. And then apply the dry top coat. The reason why we want the dry top coat is later on when we will be painting with the gel. We want the glitter to stick only to the wet surface, not to the uh, entire nail, so only to our design. And this is what I'm going to do. So just top coat this design. A dry top coat. and then cure it. In the meantime, I have also prepared some tips with the ombre for you. Uh, you can see on other videos how to do the ombre with the gel polish and I can show you how we can create uh, the similar effect with the ombre like we did in here. Uh, yellow will be really fresh in the summer, so that's why I choose the yellow uh, as well on this tip. But that's my first one cure, so I can remove it. And I show you first with the simple step. The easiest way is just to draw the line in the middle. But because I have done line on the previous one, I will do with the triangle. Nice and straight. The white I'm using is the paint on French gel from New Perfect, and I really find it uh, it is nice for nice for painting, and especially for a sugar effect. Uh, it's last ages because it dries with no sticky residue. Nice and straight. Then once you're happy with it, you can just take your cuticle pusher and sprinkle with some glitter. Usually for this technique, uh, the Mermines works pretty well or very, very fine glitters. Remove the excess and then cure it. Always gives a really good cure because you don't want the um, uh, product to come off. I'm going to cure this one and I can show you a little bit more advanced one. If we paint with a bit more advanced one, uh, we can help ourselves with the um, uh, tapes, the striping tape. And what I'm going to do is I will apply the striping tape. straight line and then other line I choose the ugly colors like color for one because I'm definitely not going to use it for the design so I thought it will be nice to kind of waste it for a straight line straight lines make sure you 
uh, apply it everywhere. You can help yourself with the silicone uh, tools. They're really great for doing it. I've got mine in a box. I'm not going to run for it now. Okay, so the tape is secure. Now I'm going to do the ombre, but I will swap the colors. Actually, I might keep those designs here so you can see what we're doing as well. So we will be going for those kind of look. On the side, I have put the colors with the foil. I don't want it too close to the design because uh, then it's ever reflecting the light, so you cannot see it as well. And uh, using the white one, so I'm just picking up the white one. I'm starting from the top, so the white one is on the top and then the yellow will be on the bottom, just opposite uh, like we did the basic ombre. And as I say, you can see the ombre, um, how to do the ombre with the gel and gel polishes in my different videos, just search Dorota Palitska ombre. Then I'm going to pick up this yellow one. my brush and then blend that's all well in. When I'm starting blending I will start from the uh, color on the top so I like to have a little bit of the same color I'm working with on my brush just so I don't remove like so my brush doesn't soak uh, the paint in and then start blending it The tapes uh, makes the life much easier because we don't have to worry that uh, we're going to go outside the line. Once this is blend in, again we can go and apply the glitter. This time I will use a slightly different shade and finer glitter. So just sprinkle this in, sprinkle in. Remove the excess by tapping and then Get rid of those tape. Okay. And cure it. Because the previous tip has cured now, I'm going to show you how it looks. Uh, I quite like using those uh, facial um, brushes but you could use also like a very soft brush to remove the excess of the product excess glitter go away and you can see how nice and simple it is uh, to do those type of designs we can also go a little bit more complicated um, and again here I have applied already the tape, different shape, and again we can do a similar ombre just when my tip is curing. So I'm starting with the white right on the top. And going into the purple. Clean my brush and then apply the darkest color. And now we can start blending, just the same like we did before. I quite like to pick up the lighter color which I've got so my product, uh, my brush doesn't, doesn't uh, soak the product in. Clean it when necessary.
I'm gonna go with the bigger brush so we don't spend three days here. <laughs> Just for the quickness, I'm going with the bigger brush. And then once I've got the fade done, I can apply the glitter. And for this one, I will go with the purple one. That looks so nice on this color. Then remove the tape. Do it nice and slowly, like, and the main thing uh, with the tape is you have to make sure you have secured it really well at first place when you apply it, otherwise the product will leak. I'm going to cure this one. And the previous one have been cured, so let's clean this dust away. And I really love this one, I think it's uh, nice and perfect, especially now for a upcoming summer time where the yellow is really really fashion and then once my purple one is uh, cure I can show you the purple one too uh, you can play with and change those uh, colors in the designs like I, I think I like um, the most the ones which are with the opposite colors of the ombre because that looks really interesting um, and it definitely has to be a sugar on it so this one is cured as well I can remove the glitter and definitely they are my two favorite ones. Um, it looks so nice. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you did uh, give me a like and subscribe. Also you can give me some ideas uh, what else you would like to see. Uh, I'm happy to, to hear your feedback. Thanks. Bye.